Yes. So let's talk about the uh, JAWS actually. So what JAWS? So JAWS is a screen reader which uh, sighted users use mostly and also low vision user use this tool for uh, navigating on the page. When we talk about the JAWS, we have two more here. One is a browser mode and another is form mode. So let's say when you start working on any application, it will be in starting, it will be on browser mode. Okay, but as soon as you navigate to any field or I would say form field like radio button, checkbox or text field, any field, it will convert, it will change automatically from browser mode to form mode. Okay, so by default, it will be browser mode. But when you are, when you start interacting with a form fields, okay, uh, any field it could be, then your mode will change to form mode. Okay, we'll look into that. But before that, uh, let me show you from where you can download this. So for this, you have to go to Google. Build with our short codes. New tab dash Google J S space D O D L A D. Download step space. Jaws, Jaws to enter. Jaws download for HTTPS colon slash slash support dot freedom. So from here, you can download it. Okay. If you click download on this. Colon alert. It will start downloading. Jaws EXE. Okay. Alert. okay. As soon as you will download this and you need to run this, it will ask you for a 40 or 45 minutes session. And it will allow you for 40 minutes and again, you need to reboot your system to again get the 45, 40 or 45 minutes. Okay. So for with the free version, it will be like this, but as soon as you'll get the full version, you need to purchase a license actually for this. And as soon as you will purchase a license, it will allow you to you know uh, work on uh, JAWS for unlimited time. All okay. right, so okay. this is what you have to do. Uh, this is the URL which uh, I can- Copy selection to clip context menu to Leaving menus, download, untitled dash paint using text. Right. Use paste it from clipboard. So this is the URL which you can use for downloading. Right. And as I said, we will be having two mode, browser mode and form mode. So let's do one thing. I have already turned on my, this JAWS. Here is my JAWS here. JAWS professional. Okay. So I already turned on my JAWS and uh, now I'll start navigating on the page. Same concept will be here. When you turn on your JAWS, it will start announcing the things on the page which you have actually. So to stop announcing or to stop reading, you have to use control. Okay, so control will stop reading. And then uh, if suppose you want to uh, navigate on the page, we'll be having different shortcut key to perform there to read, read uh, contain on the page. So let's go there actually. Downloads colon JAWS. So let's say this is the page for me. I got this page for testing. Okay. So what you have to do, uh, you have to start from here. Address and okay. So any person who is a blind people or right or any impaired user actually, they will be starting, uh, they, they will start there, you know, reading the contents from the top actually. Because see, they, for them, there's no, way there's no other way actually so what they have to do they will press tape freedom scientific link graphic and here you will come to a banner which is the first graphics image okay and uh, from there let's say you want to read everything from there okay so normally we'll not use this shortcut key in real but let's say i don't want to press my any button i want to read every content which i have on the page I can use my insert and down arrow. So let's let me press insert and down arrow. I'm pressing now insert and down arrow. Link graphic freedom scientific call today. Link one left parent eight hundred right parent four hundred forty four dash four 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 three. Search colon search edit submit button. Navigation region list of eight items. Link home. Link collapsed menu products. Link collapsed menu software. Link collapsed menu services. Link collapsed menu support. Link collapsed menu downloads. Link find a dealer. Link shop online. Li list. So what basically it's doing actually? Uh, as soon as let's say I'm here on the top, I'm here on the image, 
and I want to read a content from here, everything, whatever I have after this, okay? Whatever I have after this image, I want to read all the contents on the page. So for that, we have one shortcut key, which is an insert down arrow. Do not worry about, you know, all the shortcut key. I'll share all the shortcut key with you after this class. So about JAWS, about NVDA, I will share all the shortcut key with you so that you can practice on your system. Okay, there's no need to write down I mean, all the shortcut key right away. Okay, so let's say I want to, I want to read all the contents on the page. I will be using my insert and down arrow and it will start reading all the contents, but it will not help the land user because see what they want to do. They want to just navigate on the page and they want to select or perform the operation which they want actually. They don't want to read all the contents on the page. All right, so normally they don't use this. Apart from this, let's say I want to, I'm here. Let me. Freedom scientific. So I'm here on free, uh, free dom scientific image. Okay. I want to start reading from here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'll be using my down arrow. Down arrow will help you to go to next item on the page. So I'm pressing down arrow button. Call today. Link one left pair search colon search. Search edit as pop up type in text. Do you hear? Uh, let me. One left pair and eight. Just observe the sound here. So I'm here and I'm pressing my down arrow button. It will it will give you some sound there. Search colon search. Search edit as pop up. Type in text. So this beep sound is like you know, when I started pressing my down arrow button, my mode was browser mode. But as soon as but as soon as I reach to that field search field right, my mode changed to form mode. I don't need to change my mode from browser to form mode. I mean, like there's no way actually, this is the only way it will automatically will change. Actually. So as soon as you will start, you will start, you know, interacting with any form controls or any form fields, your browser mode will change from to form mode. If you can hear again, One left pair sound. A search call, search edit as pop yeah. that big sound is like, you know, it changed the mode. It's reading, uh, it's now it, form mode, okay? Man. Now, we're stuck here. You cannot go outside of this. Uh, so what you can do, you can press escape. Escape will remove you from this uh, text box and allow you to navigate to submit button. Let's press escape. Escape, leaving menus, downloads, colon, jaws, dash, Now Google I'll Chrome. press my Search down arrow button again. Menu, happy, escape, escape, submit button. Okay. Navigation reads list of eight items. Link home. Link collapse. Link collapse. Men link collapse. Menu services. Okay. When I'm navigating on this services software, you might heard some announcement about a link collapse. collapse menu software. Link collapse menu services. A link collapse menu. That means there is something there which is we are having under this menu. Okay. We have to understand that. If suppose you go to home, link, link, link home. It's saying link home. It's not saying prolapse or expanded. So we can assume that you know there's nothing in this home. This home link is alone there. But if I come to port link product, collapse menu products, collapse menu. So that means in this case, uh, impaired users or you know the sighted users will understand. Okay, this is a menu which is a collapse, and we will be having some more item under this. So suppose if you are testing something and if you come across this kind of menu, which is not announcing collapse on expanded, right? You have to lock the issue because how the person will understand that, you know, this menu has a sub items under this. Okay. So we should be having proper property. Okay. For this, if you will not have a property, if you will not have a proper attributes, okay. For sub item. If suppose your link is having sub item, you are not having proper attributes for that, it will not announce. And if it will not announce, blend people will assume that, okay, we don't have anything under this link. But here, if I go to link software, collapse menu software, collapse menu. So if you hit enter to activate anything, we use a space bar and enter button. So enter navigation region list with eight items, software expanded menu expanded, link. Expanded, not collapse. So this list is now expanded. Okay. 
And now I can start. My link job, link zoom, link view, link open, link soft, link soft, link software for business. I can start navigating on this actually. And let's go. Link add link list and link collapse link collapse menu support. Link collapse list and nesting level one. List end. So as soon as I'll hear that list is end, my focus will go to another menu. Link collapse menu services. It says again, this is the collapse. I will hit enter. Enter services and it will be expanded. expanded menu link. So we should be when we are designing any page, we should be very careful about all this. Okay, we should have to give proper attributes because blind people will blind people only will rely on the screen reader okay if it is not announcing properly they will not able to understand like what is happening there on the page and that's why we say whenever you are we whenever you have a title on the page you have to have a unique title and you, your title should be changed when you navigate to another page because this is the only way through which they can understand okay Let's list of four link at link to link training link certification. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm pressing down arrow button, go to next item. Link training. If I press up arrow button on keyboard, it will navigate me to the previous item on the page. So down arrow, up arrow. Okay, will not gonna use here uh, right and left. Let's try that. R A I N I. So when you use your India. right and left. It will start reading your word by word, which which we normally don't do actually. Okay, sometimes let's say there's a one word there which is not clear to me, right? At the time I'll be going with you know to just check you know okay whatever the spelling I have given there that's right or not. So I'll go with the word by word. Otherwise we never go with the word by word. Now we create type by create actually we'll go by word by word actually. Link disability etiquette training, link accessibility consulting, C, C, E, S, S. If I use left and right, it will Sierra. go cater to cater by. Okay, we'll never use this actually. Now, this is the one thing which we have here. Let's see another thing. So, tape, again, tape will be training, navigate you to all the download, interactive elements day, on the page. Online link. Find shop online link. Okay, so this is the main region. Learn list Look, with one item. Jaws 2021.2012. If you want to go to each and every elements on the page, you have to use up and down arrow button, same as the NVDA. Okay, shortcut key will be same for, let's say, if you want to go to heading, again, it will be H here. Okay. Contact us heading left wrapping the top. Jaws screen readings contact us heading wrapping the top. Jaws screen contact us wrapping the top. Jaws there are two headings heading on the level page, one. And that's why it's navigating there only. It's right. So let's say if you want to go to heading level one, then same thing you have to do H and one. If you want to just navigate to only heading level two, H and two will be navigating you to heading level two, two, two only. So whenever you will be pressing two, you will navigate to heading level two only on the page. Okay. Now let's say you want to see a list of all the headings on the page. Okay. So what you can do, you can use insert and F6. So insert F6 will open one dialog box with the list of all the headings on the page. So let's try that. JAWS version 2021.2011.16 So here, heading list it's dialogue. saying there's a three heading headings two. available JAWS on the page. JAWS download, two, which two, is three, to move here, the this one. The arrow keys. Then we have JAWS reader software, which is this one. And you have also contact us, so which will be down below. This one. Even if you just want to see to make Context sure menu, this heading, app, we leaving may menus, it. downloads colon jaws dash Google Chrome. The latest here, version of Jaws can be downloaded three. using the links below for less H3 greater. Okay. Open less H3 so let's greater. Say, downloads colon I don't jaws want to dash navigate Google on Chrome. each and every text on the page. What I can do, I can directly press heading three. Let's try that. So contact us heading level three. We are here. Let's go to heading three. No more headings at level one. Jaw no more headings at level one. Okay. Jaws downloads heading level one. Jaw contact us heading level so, three. I know that you know I have my I, I, if I want to if I want to call anyone any person right what I have to do I have to go to contact us and there I can find all the contact details right 
So what I can do, I can press H in three. I will directly go to a uh, heading level three, which is a counter cross. In start, and it will from left, there. Link left, parent it's very easy for me. Twenty-seven right, parent right. eight zero three so eight eight zero zero zero. Page. Now, in NVDA, we were using a D D four, just navigating on the reason. Reason means, I would say landmark. So to nav navigate landmark to landmark, what we were doing, we were pressing D there. But here we will be pressing R. R for reason. Reason, landmark, both are same thing. Okay. So suppose I'm here on the page, and Address I come to this scientific. body part and is R navigation region. Navigation region. This is the one reason. Main region. This is the main reason. Freedom scientific graphic content information. Wrapping the top navigation region. There are three reasons which we have on this page. Okay. So suppose I want to type something, I can directly jump from one reason to another reason by pressing R. R is a shortcut key there. And I can go there and I can start. I mean, I can if I want to search something, I can search from there. Okay. So we should be having a proper landmark as well on the page or i would say reason on the page okay now when you talk about uh, if i want to see all the list of you know all the buttons all the frame all the graphics all the list link on the page so there's a one more shortcut key here just like we saw in we use insert and f6 for all the headings on the page we also have insert f3 to see the list of all the buttons frame, graphics, list, link, all these things. So let's try that. JAWS, JAWS version 2000 escape OK button to activate press space bar. OK. It will give me all time, you know, it will give me notification that, you know, you have only just 40 minutes. So let's try that. JAWS version 2021.2011.16 ILM. So? Articles this is the list. list. Block quotes. Buttons list. Check boxes. Controls. Divisions list. Form fields list. Nine of twenty one. Right. So you can see the list of all the list here actually. And let's say you want to go to a table on the page. So let's say this is my page. Web accessibility. Here same thing we'll be doing. We'll be navigating on the table by pressing T on the page. There are no tables on this page. Let's try again. Context menu, take leaving no menus, tables, tables right. concepts, go to main region, page article table. region, list so with five by tables. Table here. All right, let's try here. Banner region, double table with three columns and four rows, column one, row one, date. So we have a table here, and as soon as I press T, it will go to that table there. And if I want to navigate on the table, I can use my control alt and same thing which we do in the NVDA. We have to use up, down, left, and right arrow to navigate on the table. Event column two. Venue column three. Main all row two. Event Waltz with Strauss Copyopolists row three. The what row four. Date 14 April column one. Event the what column two. So this is how you can navigate on the table. And as already discussed that we should be having proper caption and heading, column header and row header there. That is there actually. If it is not there, it will not announce properly. Okay, there's an issue with this table because they didn't give proper uh, caption to this uh, table, and that's the issue. And also, they didn't associate it, they didn't associate column header and row header properly. So there's no row header here, but yeah, we have a column header which is a the eight, event row one event even new. This is the column header which we have, and those are not associated with the sale which we have on the table. So we should be having proper, uh, we should be having proper column header and row header if it is there. Okay, let's try, let's press T again. Table with four columns and three rows, column one, row one, date. Okay, so here as well, there's no caption they have given. Table with three columns and four rows, teddy bear collectors, colon, column have, one, row one. In this table, one, we have given name. proper, if you can see that th scope column, which is call actually for column. So they have given proper, they have specified proper column. And if there's no row call, uh, there's no 
Row header actually this. That's why okay, it's not to add enter table not with one header row bullet table bullet Y web accessible tables with Let's one header full table with three columns and four table with four co table with three columns and four rows. Let's navigate here. First name Amari row two. Last name Phoenix column first name Amari column two. So when I'm changing from last name to first name or first name to city, it's it's announcing the column header as well. So let's say first name co city column three Henry row two. First name, Amar City, Henry, Column 3. First name, Last name, Phoenix, Column Ziki, Row 3. First name, Rome, Column City, Min, Column 3. Because we have given proper column there. Okay. So this is the one. And then let's say you want to see the list, how many lists you have on the page. So you have to press L. List of two items. So you have two items on full, this page. Full list end. Let's see where is that. So this is the list. Jaws dialog. Okay, button to activate. Actually. Press space box. So? Tables with one list of two items. List of two items. A list of two items. I want to check both the items. What I can do? For navigating to a list, I will be pressing L. And if I want to go to item, I can press I. Bullet link H51 colon using table markup to present tabular. Bullet link H63 colon using the scope attribute to associate header cells and data cells and data tables. Okay, let's try one more thing here. Let's main region this. article region list with two items H63 colon oh, using the fine. scope attribute to associate header cells and H63 colon H63 colon Sorry. using the space. So, see the navigate only on a list. You have to press L, and if you want to just navigate to a uh, list items, you have to press I. Again, for graphics, last time was when we saw uh, in NVDA. We have to use G, G for graphics. W3C link graphic, jaw G. G. G, G, G. Let's try again. G. It got hang, oh, just a minute. Tables with one header, web accessibility initiative link graphic. Right, so as soon as you press G, it will go to graphics on the page. Now, if you want to go to unvisited link, Again, same thing here. Just we saw, I mean, like uh, in NVDA, it's you. Link web accessibility, same page link, jump to the link tutorial, same page link, left bullet, same page, bullet, same bullet, same page link, example, so these are the unvisited, unvisited data. link. If you want to go to visited link,